Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course. It is a Friday evening, November the 5th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 tonight, folks. 8.08 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half for a long route test on the dirt track. Three year rolls and up race for a claiming purse of some $34,000. Contenders number one, ready or not. Number three, perfect footprint. Number seven, inauguration. And number Number six, Jake's Band-Aid. Number one, ready or not, is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field this evening, racing at or about tonight's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Takes a two-level class drop, has produced power runs in five straight, hitting the board in its last four, including a power run win in his third race back. Number three, perfect footprint, a six-to-one shot, also drops in class, comes off a power run place finish, facing better company in his last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just the length at the wire. Race 5 summary, number 1, ready or not, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 3, perfect footprint, number 7, inauguration, and number 6, Jake's Band-Aid, 1-3. 7 six in the 5th tonight from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race number 3, entry number 6, J.T. Rocker, 10 to 1 bomb, the overall speed leader in his claiming field, racing at tonight's distance of 9 furlongs on the dirt, Philly Park Racing, race 3, number 5, Grand Terror, 4 to 1 shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by 4 units, nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint, it's the overall speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at or about today's distance of five and a half furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always, please bet with your head, not over it.